Morning guys and girls, back with a new video. Um, unfortunately starting off with some bad news today and that's about uh, the 2018 Olympia winner, Sean Roden, who uh, has had quite a controversial few weeks actually uh, in terms of what's going on in his life. Um, he's been accused of, of rape um, from October 2018 and it's only come to light now. Uh, he's been in, in court already. Uh, there was an announcement yesterday for that. Um, for which he pleaded not guilty and uh, as it stands unfortunately he has been banned by uh, IFBB Pro and uh, all organisers involved to, to take part in this year's 2019 Olympia so as it stands there there's literally you know a whole new um, Olympia coming our way as it says in this picture above it really is up for grabs now for history in the making it really is such sad news that someone who is famously able to dethrone uh, Phil Heath from his record seven Olympias and stopped him from getting eight in a row has been revoked um, for future competitions. You know, let's face it, his uh, career is basically over. Um, I don't really see him having a comeback from this. All his uh, sponsors have pulled the plug on him he um he can't compete in this year's i mean mentally for any person that's really going to knock you back and even if he was able to have a comeback let's say they uh, allowed him to come back in the future after after the trial and everything goes through i mean if this man is he's gonna he's gonna suffer from this and i really can't see him coming back but I do hope he will. Um, I mean, I, like I said, innocent until proven guilty. And I hope for his sake he isn't what they accuse him of. And he hasn't done those things. And he can come back because he's a very admirable athlete. He's, you know, he's not, he's not young. He's in his 40s. And he managed to come in with, I'd say, one of the best physiques in the last five, six years on that stage. The most complete. And just like that everything's gone um so it's really sad and i really do hope that maybe one day he could come back on the stage but all we can see is uh what will happen uh with the courts and with with the olympia if they uh if, if everything goes in his favor if they'll let him back and if he's actually willing to go back or not and uh let's hope maybe we can see you one day on the stage again because as you can see, guys, from, from this uh, routine, the posing routine I posted uh, from last year, he looked incredible. And, you know, he definitely was deserving of that trophy and that win. It was There was no politics involved here at all. This man won because he deserved to win. And, you know, let's hope maybe one day he will win again. But only time will tell. So, anyway, moving on to the next story. Um, now, just posting uh, here a recent update from Ruli Winkler's uh, Instagram. Now, as you can see from this video, he's looking really good. Conditioning's really uh, on point. Seven weeks out pretty much now from the Olympia, and I think he's looking really, really good. Really dry, really tight, and really forced. You know, those shoulders and arms are just freaky in terms of how round and swole they are. Um, for those who don't, who don't know him, he actually placed fifth last year in the Arnold Classic in Ohio. And uh, in the 2018 Olympia, he had his highest ever placing at number three, which was uh, really, really uh, impressive and really good for him. He has had issues before in the past with his midsection, looking very blocky and too wide. He did have an operation, I believe, and has obviously been honing in on his weak points, because in the past he's not really come in very complete. He's had certain body parts that have been disproportionate to the others, but from this routine you can see here from last year, I can't really flaw, um, put anything down on him. I think everything looks really good. His lats are very big and wide. His arms are huge, arguably some of the best in the business. His abs are nice and tight. The stomach is flat. He's not, you know, he hasn't got that bubble gut going on. He's got good separation within the abs as well. He actually has a six pack rather than a four pack. And overall, I'd say, you know, he's got, he's got a great body. His legs, uh, they are obviously are big. I think they could come in a little bit drier, um, a bit more vascularity perhaps, but overall he, um, he is a very complete bodybuilder now. And I'm very excited to see how he, he does this year. The fact that, 
you know, Phil Heath probably isn't competing. Sean Roden definitely isn't competing. Um, really does open up the doors to him to potentially come first. You know, Big Rami's not in there either. He's not competing this year. And, and even if he did, he needs to really refine and um, improve his conditioning because that's always been his downfall. He, he, downfall. he may be huge, but he's never he's never complete. And, you know, looking at Roley here, he he looks fantastic last year and he looks great in the recent update. So I'm really um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table this year. I think, you know, he he's he's peaking now. I think he's found his his groove. He's he's got his balance and his symmetry on point. He knows he knows um, how to condition himself. He's been training at the oxygen gym, which is in Q8, which is really working for him. And I think just overall, he's just he's more he's more hungry for it. So, really looking forward to seeing how this guy gets on this year, and uh, yeah, just just keep uh, keep tabs on him because I think he's gonna definitely cause a stir um, at 2019's Olympia for sure. So, best of luck to you, really. We're looking forward to seeing what you bring to the table. So uh, that leads me on to um, last year's fourth place, which was uh, William Bonac. Now, William's had uh, a lot of success in bodybuilding, and he actually won the Arnold Classic in 2018. Uh, for this, uh, sorry, last year's Olympia, he placed fourth after Ruley. And uh, to be honest, a lot of people had him um, hyped up to, to, to be in the top two, uh, people saying that he was better than Phil and others. But obviously, it's a very subjective sport, as we all know, and everyone has different views and opinions as to what constitutes a winner or a top two placing athlete. Now, I think he is very gifted. He has really good muscle bellies. Uh, they're very large. He's very stacked. You know, he, he has a lot of good proportion. Uh, his only downfall, um, like what probably has been cited before, is his height. Uh, very similar to Franco Colombo and other short athletes um, in the sport. It really does make them look short when, when they are that big as well. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes when he's posing, he doesn't actually um, accentuate his best features. He kind of poses small. Uh, funny enough, Arnie quotes that in um, in Pumping Iron about Franco, about not, not really um, showing himself off, or going within himself when posing to not, essentially make him look smaller uh, but William you know he he really has good potential he, he's proven himself before you know he can win he can win shows he can win events top four placing in Olympia is 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 not a bad call at all like it's a very good achievement nonetheless and you know he is going up against uh, Phil Heath seven time Olympia Sean Roden, who looked his best, hence why he won. Um, and then Ruley before him, who looked fantastic as well. So, you know, for a guy of his height, he really did well um, to, to, to place fourth. This year, I'm not, I'm not too sure how he's going to place, to be honest. I think he will be in top five again, but I don't think he will be, um, he'll be number one. Um, personally, I think we're looking at... Ruley and maybe uh, Brandon Curry, who I'll go on to in the next uh, the next part of this video. But who knows? Phil might compete. He might bring in a new package, and he might he, he might he might push everyone down down the ladder. But we just don't know at the moment. But one thing is for sure, as mentioned, that Sean will not be there. So that's essentially going to push everyone up from who was number five before. So we could be looking at a top three placing for. Um, for this guy here and you know I hope he gets that he deserves it you know and unfortunately he didn't retain his title last year um sorry this year for the uh, Arnold Classic but he has won it before and he's proven what he can do and what he can bring to the table so wishing you luck and uh roll on 2019's Olympia for September so uh, just keep an eye on this guy. who knows what will happen we learned last year that people who think they can keep on winning year after year can't and new people can can knock people off the pedestal so let's see what happens i reckon maybe he might be able to challenge for that top spot but who knows until the day comes let's hope nothing happens to him in terms of injuries or if anything goes off his diet so best of luck
And that leads me on to this last athlete, and that is Brandon Curry. Uh, Brandon placed fifth last year uh, in the Olympia and actually came from um, eighth the year before. So he's obviously made some significant improvements to his uh, physique and overall package to, to place uh, three points higher within the Olympia, which is a massive accomplishment. He also actually won this year's um, Arnold Classic uh, beating William Bonac from last year, as previously mentioned. So you know, credit to him. He he had a great, he's had a great six months really. You know, going from the Olympia, um, placing three up, at five to then winning the classic, is a uh, is an amazing accomplishment. And you know, he should be really proud. And he, sh- I'm sure he's definitely. Uh, motivated and confident going into this year's Olympia based on his stats in terms of his level of improvement with his rankings, his winnings and also the fact that he he has less competition. Uh, you know, um, Phil Heath 50-50 being there, Sean Roden 100% not being there, uh, Big Ramy mentioned he's not, he's not going to be in there trying to get in that top five spot. So, you know, who does he have to contend with? He only has Bonac, um, really, because, let's face it, those two are quite evenly matched, I think, in terms of where they're at in their careers, both winning the Classic, both finishing of top five at Olympia. So I think it's going to be a head-to-head between those two in terms of who places higher this year. Um, and, you know, I'm, 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 I'm confident, I think, that Brandon will, will maybe place higher than him. He does still have to bring up his legs some more. He has already like uh, increased them significantly in terms of size and conditioning from when they were before, because his upper body has always been very dominant. But you know, he he's I know he's been working hard. I've been checking out on his videos and his updates, and you know he's he's definitely trying to bring them up more. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm very intrigued to see what you guys think, though. Who do you think is going to be in the top five now with the uh, the recent um, controversy and and changes within who's who who's uh, taking part, and who do you think is going to be number one? I personally think. If Phil was not there, it's more than likely going to be a top three uh, contest between Brandon, William and Ruley. I think uh, number four will be Dexter Jackson and five I think will be uh, either Cedric McMillan or Nathan D'Asher. But but who knows? Let's see what happens. But to be honest, it's very exciting because this is another year where we really don't know who's going to be the winner, just like last year. And it's more than likely going to be a new winner, which is even more exciting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, please, let's uh, let's get a chat going on this one for our predictions. And um, I want to know who, who you think is going to win and who's going to be that top three. So until next time, Amiga One Fitness, signing out.